Hello everyone, this is day two of our overnight trip to Paso Robles, but we're not quite done exploring Vineyard Road and its world-class wines. And we're taking a quick visit to the Gibraltar of the Pacific before heading home. All right, let's explore. Now at Niner Wine Estates. Cheers! And this winery is known for their Chardonnay, their Pinots, and their Cabernets. And they have their flagship blend called the Fog Catcher. Paso Robles and most of its wineries are so dog friendly, even. A lot of the lodging around the area is very dog friendly. This is a goat cheddar. Oh, this is like a cream, triple cream cow's milk. It reminds me of Brie. Brie as well. Uh, this is our house made chow jam. Uh, it's like shallots, water, sugar. It's fantastic. You gotta try it. Uh, stone mustard. This is alapia salami from Atascadero. Prosciutto, artichoke hearts, some raisins. These are dried olives, just so you're not taking it off guard. And some mushrooms. Niner Winery, they are known for or famous for this hill over here with its heart shaped oak grove, which is or which was shaped by Mother Nature. This was not planted as a heart shape on purpose or anything like that, just it turned out to. <laughs> To have grown that way so the original owners of this estate or the land 
um, were farmers and they sort of discovered this or it was already growing in a, in a heart-shaped formation so they just sort of took down one or two trees so that it could be like landscaped into this heart shape or it'll be more visible as a heart from below from up top but it is so cool love it this um, winery also has great options for food um, i did try to have our lunch here yesterday but reservations were pretty small or low um, that at least we were able to make it here today for a small cheese board which um, Brenna had commented that it's the best cheese board she's had in a winery. Um, the selection was pretty hefty. So now we are moving on to our next location. So see you there. And we are now at Morrow Bay, which is a coastal community that's a cross between Half Moon Bay and Santa Cruz. I hope you guys can hear me because it is pretty dang windy and chilly over here. We are now having our dinner here at Moro Bay and I read that because it is a coastal community, oysters are fresh and delicious. So I asked a local on a recommendation and he recommended Tignazis. I think that's how you spell it. Or I think that's how you say it because that's how he said it. And that's how it's spelled. It's located right across the stacks. And you know what that is once you're in the area. So now I'm going to try the oysters. These are barbecued oysters. Doesn't look like it. It's just a bake. But here we go. Soft, creamy, delicious. We ordered another type of oyster preparation. So the other type of oyster preparation is Oyster Casino. So it's got bacon, bacon in it. Oyster and bacon. Holy moly. Okay. It's dry. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh <laughs> my goodness. You see that steam, steam, steam. Let's try it. The oysters melts in your mouth, like holy moly. That is 
Very so good. I've never had it ever. <laughs> this type of oysters before. Ever. So good. Hmm. Barbecue oysters and oyster casino. Highly recommend. All right, so we are done with our dinner and we are going to head home, which is about three hours from where we're at here at Morrow Bay. This is the first time any of us have ever visited Morrow Bay. It is actually a hidden gem. There's so many boutiques and restaurants. Just uh, actually, just a lot. There was a lot of people out and about. I think it because I think because it's spring break. But this is worth a stop. Um, if you're going, if you're heading towards what is it, Santa Barbara, or even LA. Stop by here um, to have lunch and it'll be a worthwhile stop. All right, see you on the road back home. So we did not realize. Woo! Can you still hear me? That the Moro Rock is actually attached to land. There's a car I gotta. There, there, there we go. So, <laughs> look at that. We didn't realize that it's attached to land. We, we thought that the rock was right in the middle of the ocean, but it's not. And there goes my hat. Oh, and another theme that keeps popping up around Morro Bay is the whole theme of the mermaid. If anybody has ever visited Morro, <laughs> Morro Bay, comment below on what that means, the whole mermaid theme. All right, so we're... Heading on out of here. Home now. And missed this little guy. So this is a good place and time to end this vlog. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And feel free to comment below. So from my mind side to yours, definitely more to come. Thanks for watching. Night night.